Good morning, everybody. I hope you've had a wonderful, wonderful evening. It's now time for our Love Interest in Separation uh, reading. Uh, we're going to see what the energies are today uh, within this uh, space of Love Interest in Separation. So let's see what Spirit has for us while I'm finding that out. Please like, follow, share, and subscribe to the channel uh, to make sure that the energies uh, that are within your connection are being read by me. The more that you interact, the more I have access to be able to read those energies. Uh, with that, let's look at Spirit. What is going on in that collective in separation today? And Spirit saying, don't make decisions based on guilt or on what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others, right? And so Spirit's reminding us uh, to make sure that you're not wearing a mask. Make sure you are being uh, true to yourself, true to others. Good morning, Shannon. Uh, Spirit wants us to be uh, removing that mask. He wants us to really portray who we are, and when we do, uh, wonderful things happen. So let's see what else we have. What are some of the love energies uh, for today? I had a little snafu this morning. My camera was backwards, so we had to do a quick restart. So let's see what Spirit wants to give us today. Get one more card from this. Okay. So Spirit is telling us quite a few things today. You begin to feel your heart beat faster when you're close. So that, you know, if you're starting to feel that like heavy thump it a thump it a thump it a that means that something is coming in, your heart's opening, you're getting more into your heart space, and perhaps your special person, that person in separation, is coming closer. Love conquers all. I think that's pretty self obvious. Uh, be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. So you've got to be open. You've got to be true to yourself. You've got to be in that frequency of love and cherish your relationship, right? And that doesn't mean you have to cherish what you had before because that was an old relationship. What that's saying is cherish what relationships you have currently in that present moment. Be in that space of an open heart. And then you are going to get uh, into the frequency that will start to attract love. So let's see what other uh, energies and cards uh, want to present themselves at this point. Spirit, what else do you want to give us today? So there's love and separation. Okay. So... All right, so we have a faded meeting, right? And we've been seeing that quite a bit. You know, it's an important connection. So there is going to be a meeting of some time. Is it with your person or not? We don't know yet. We're going to see what we get in confirmation. But we've been seeing that communication meeting. It's been coming through for the past probably a month or so. Um, dating, meeting somebody new. So perhaps that is a new person. Perhaps that's your real twin flame or for, you know, for those who have had that catalyst twin flame, we've been seeing a lot of warning on that. Or it could be a new version of your person. And again, twin flame connection, we're, we're seeing that twin flame card again. You know, so that's telling us it's a twin flame read. Okay, we've got ghosted and disappearing. You know, perhaps you're person has ghosted you. Perhaps that is the false twin. Or just your your person running away because it was too, too strong. Intimacy and bonding, right? So we're in that space of where whatever is new is coming in, there is going to be some sort of a uh, bond uh, happening between the two of you. So let's see what else the cards go so we can get some more information spirit can you give us more information on this new person this faded meeting the bonding what do we get 44 is a good is 
is a good number. Uh, what you want to do is you want to get on Google and just say angel number 44. And what you want to do is then pick the one that resonates with you the most uh, from that list. Usually it's the first one for me, but uh, everybody's different. And just see what number, what, what meaning resonates with you, because usually you're going to find four or five different ones. Uh, pay attention to the red flags. Know the warning signs of what an unhealthy connection looks like. Right? And again, we've been seeing that because there's been a lot of energy around that catalyst twin flame. And why do we get a catalyst twin flame? Why do we feel that they're tw the twin flame? It's because they have a lot of the same energetics, karmics, and uh, soul connections are very, very similar because they're both contract-based connection. The difference is one has a time limit, the other one does not. The karmic one has a time limit, and that time limit is from once you learn the lesson, and they're going to keep beating you down until you learn that lesson. And a lot of times, uh, even if it's a different person, if it's a, you'll get a different body, but it's basically the same person, you're going to get that same energy, that same treatment, until you discover what it is in yourself that you are not healing. So you have to really look within and make sure that you're really understanding what's going on. Forgive and release. You are stronger when you carry love and forgiveness rather than anger. Right? And forgiveness, uh, understanding unconditional love, release. A lot of people don't understand that. Right? And what does that mean? Does it mean it doesn't mean you have to align with the way somebody's been treating you and that behavior that they've been giving you? What they're what they're basically what you basically have to do is you have to understand why that person is acting the way they do and allow them to be who they are but it doesn't mean you need to align with it right it's forgiveness plus understanding you can forgive their behavior because of what they what they've been through whatever their situation is but it doesn't mean you need to align to it so you just step aside and put your boundary up a healthy boundary not an overstepping boundary and then spirits also say, take a leap of faith. Only when you're willing to step out of your comfort zone will you reap great rewards. So I feel that in this, we're going to move it on this side, right? We're going to take that leap of faith on that new person, uh, that new version of your person, however it, it presents itself. And we're going to start to, you know, see where those energies go. Because spirit's saying that there is a good reward for you if you allow, right? And Allie, um, if you want, uh, we can pull some cards for you after I'm done with the, the main read. Thank you, Shannon. Um, and uh, what we do is uh, it'll be about 10 minutes uh, before this read is over. And then I'm going to take some questions from everybody as long as you can you know, have the time to stay. Okay. So just put your questions, uh, whoever has them, into the uh, comment window. And when I'm done with the read, I will pull some cards. All right, so let's look at what other love energies do you want to give us uh, today, Spirit, within this connection. Let's see. If, okay, we've got four cards pop right out. All right, so for some of you, somebody got friend-zoned, a lack of passion in there. So one of those connections kind of wilted away into the friend zone. However, you are manifesting that one that you really want. And when that one comes right that new faded meeting they're going to be in a place and when we see proposal that means that they're in a place of commitment right they're ready to move forward they're ready to be in the place that you want them to be however there's a time apart right and we all know that time apart why because we're all in separation right this is a love and separation reading so let's see if spirit has anything else on this deck they want to give me i think i got one more card that wants to come out Keep on hearing it, and there it is. Okay, and again, we've got this reaching out, right? Expect a call or a text from your person of interest. So as you can see, we're getting some multiple confirmations that that person, your special person, the one that you're interested in, is ready to reach out. It could be a new version of that person, or for some people, it could be just a new person, a soulmate, uh, something uh, someone different, different energy, energy that's more aligned uh, to where you are. Uh, we're going to get a couple more love um, cards here. So, Spirit, what else do you want to tell us about this connection? 
Uh, one just fell straight to the floor. And when they fall to the floor, it usually means that that's something that's happening right away. And what we got was children, right? And for some of you who are single parents or your partner's a single parent, the children are kind of getting away. It's, you know, they're, they're affecting the connection, whether that's responsibilities, uh, whether they're not happy with you as a, you know, or that relationship, but they are kind of getting in the way, kind of like being a third party. Or maybe there's other reasons, like the kids just need more attention at this time. And because of that, we're still in that retreat. Is there anything else we want to pull for this? One more card. And Spirit's saying that this is a past life relationship, you know, and we know that because it's a twin flame. So there's a deep, deep, deep soul connection. You guys have known each other before. So let's take a look at some messages uh, from the uh, Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. And just remember that the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, their energies, they are not genders uh, just because you're a man or a woman doesn't make you a divine masculine or feminine it's the energies generally anybody who is watching a love and separation read is a divine feminine because most of us are codependent as hell so spirit what is the what is the messages from the divine masculine to the divine feminine in this collective okay we got a stack of them just popped right out and let's see what we got. So we have, I feel like I can't give you what you want. And we know that, right? They they feel like they're leveled down and you're leveling up. I pulled away because I'm overwhelmed with all the things going on with my life. And we see that, right, with the children. They need time. Most of you are at some sort of a distance, whether that is just haven't talked in a long time. Uh, could be years uh, could be, uh, you know, they, they moved out or they're far away. I feel like I'm not good enough. More confirmation. And I still have growing to do, right? So your person's got a lot, a lot going on healing. Let's get a couple more uh, direct messages from them. Yeah, a lot of us are in that space, Shannon. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's meant to help you grow. It's meant to put you in such an uncomfortable situation that you will look at yourself in the mirror and you will heal uh, what needs uh, to be healed. Okay. And so let's see. Yeah, week's not that bad, Allie. Um, a lot of us have been there for years uh, without that contact. So, you know, just <laughs> you count that as a blessing. Okay. So, Spirit, anything else you want to speak to us Uh the Divine Masculine's Higher Self to the Divine Feminine. Okay. And honestly, I think the I'm not financially sta <coughs> stable is a Divine Feminine thing because most of the ones that I've spoken to are having a lot of financial issues, forcing them to go within or isolating them further and further from anything and anybody until they actually face their fears, face their trauma, face their behaviors, and it's a tough thing. Most of us don't want to face it. We'd like to just kind of whitewash it, right? Not financially stable. I feel so happy with you, right? And your person knows that they were happy when those moments that were good with you guys before you started to get to the trauma. Will you ever make things right, right? And they want you to make things right. They want to be in that space. So you've got to you know, you gotta you gotta just kind of giggle because they're waiting for you to come forward instead of them coming forward, right? And I don't know why this happened. They, of course, they don't because they're not willing to face themselves yet, and that's why they have so much growing to do. And I miss seeing you, right? And they want to. The spirit is really pushing, pushing them forward to kind of uh, move along, so to speak. And so with that let's see uh, where we are inside of this twin flame uh, connection what, what part of it the journey is actually a very specific journey with lots of defined steps what step we in with this connection that we're channeling today and just remember that not all of this will be meant 100% for you uh, it 
you know, some of it is very specific to certain people who watch the channel and follow it regularly. So take what part of this resonates with you, leave the rest behind because some people have very specific needs that need to come out and spirit will bring it out in a read uh, because they know that they're, they're going to watch and they're going to see it. So if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It might not be your story. I do one every day. Uh, every morning I do that so we can uh, dial in and see what does it. So we're at 9-9, nine, nine. harmonize, let your light shine, right? And so within this connection, when you say, you know, you're at a 9-9, nine, nine, Nines are almost at completion. Ten is completion. Like I think if I remember in Tarot, ten is the world, uh, which means that you're finally getting the fruits of your rewards uh, from the major arcana. I'm not much of a regular tarot person. I love my oracle cards, and I, I like love readings. I'm, I'm not into the, the other readings as much. Um, but it looks like we're completing a stage here. right? And so what we're going to do next is we're going to ask uh, the one question uh, that we want to know here, uh, you know, is what should I do, Spirit? What does the Divine Feminine do in this completion stage? What's coming next? What is the advice from our higher self? And our higher self for the collective is telling us, tear down the walls around your heart, right? And so if you want to move forward here, you're going to have to tear those walls down to a heart. And why are those walls on your heart? Because you've probably done through so all sorts of trauma in your childhood. You've probably gone through toxic connection after toxic connection. And you build up walls because you don't trust anybody. You feel that they're all going to betray you. They're all going to abandon you. They're all going to reject you. And so what Spirit's saying is it's time to tear down these walls. Something new is coming in. Something new, whether that's your person with changed energy or a new person. And if you don't tear them down, well, you're going back to this. So with that, let's get some timing uh, on this. And so let's see what the timing is. And we're just about uh, finished on the read. So just make sure you guys like, follow, and share. I just ask that you follow the channel to get some cards uh, for those uh, other people there, uh, people who are watching this and this resonates, uh, please visit my Silver Fox spiritual channel. It's up on the screen there. It's on YouTube. It has a lot of healing for a lot of these issues uh, that uh, come through uh, into the reads. Uh, I do have a membership program there as well, and I can do personal light language as well as I do personal uh, readings uh, for people. Those personal readings are at a charge. If you make it to the uh, live uh, I'll pull some cards for you for your particular situation. However, if you do the main read, it's going to be closer to this, a 20-minute or so, where we're really going to delve into, you know, what's going on within your, your particular situation. Uh, all that information is in my contact uh, stuff inside the description or the contact tree. So let's see timing, Spirit. Spirit, what is the timing of this new stage, this person coming in, this bonding, this proposal? And guess what? Spirits say, bump, 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 in July, right? So we are in July. So we have two choices here. It's this July or another July. And you know what? What I'm getting from Spirit is, Spirit's saying you've got a choice to make. If you can clear some of this and open your heart enough, well, then we got this month. This month is a great month uh, where something's going to move forward. If you don't, if you choose to ignore what spirit's been pushing in front of your face, the signs, the dreams, all those things, the toxic energies, if you don't face your own trauma, then guess what? It's going to be another July. <laughs> it may not be this one. Um, you know, when, uh, like I say, you got to take, whenever spirit gives us a timing card, you got to take it with a grain of salt because spirit's giving you an answer, but that may not be the answer that you're expecting because July, we have a lot of Julys, right? We could be July from 20 years from now. We don't know what the potential is for the July here. And you have to, you know, kind of make sure that you're in the space of that open this in order for it to happen in, in this July, right? In this now moment of July. And we are in July. So with that, that is my read. Um, for those people watching on the replay, I'll finish off a few commercials. Uh, 
I think Susan and I are going to be doing lives. Uh, if you haven't uh, seen it, I have. I pushed one replay up. Uh, we usually go on for like two hours, and TikTok only lets me put an hour up. Uh, so we will uh, always, uh, you know, try to get on. We're going to probably be doing uh, Thursdays and Mondays around eight to nine a.m. Uh, so that's why we ask you to put your notifications on. Uh, you can watch one of the replays on my TikTok. I may push the replay as well on YouTube uh, for those who watch on the YouTube channel. Uh, this way you can see, you know, kind of the energies of it and see if it's something you want to come on. What we do is on that uh, show, we do, uh, the two of us will uh, tag team on questions. You get one question per person. Uh, so with that, uh, for those who are watching on the replay, this ends uh, the read. Please like, follow, share, subscribe. Donations are super appreciated. That's how I make my living. Uh, outside of that, uh, they're not required for uh, card polls when you make it to the live. Uh, all I ask is that you follow. And so thank you everybody for watching on the replay. Okay, so let me clean up the cards for the rest of you guys.